Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Hawashai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the hopefully let confusion of face that are joined unto our ranks. To the Akwaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. And what you're looking at on the screen is the California black sheep. I don't even know how I stumbled across this brother. It was through the spirit. And um, anyone who's spiritually aware uh, that the Lord is dealing with will know within a few seconds that this guy has the spirit of an Israelite. All right, so uh, I've uh, watched like th maybe three, three, three and a half of his videos. And um, and you can't fake Jake. You just can't fake it. You can't fake Jake, man. And this is who. And this dude gets more hate from Edomites on this channel than he does from Jake. All right. He gets so much hate from these Edomites because the Edomites are mad because he's speaking the truth about them. All right. And Esau does not have that. That uh. uh You know the mindset to come against his own. He's got a video called "I'm not a race traitor because I would never betray the human race." My loyalty is to the human, not the phenotype. So that's something that one of these these so-called uh, uh, awakened, enlightened Jakes that would say that don't know a goddamn thing. But one thing that this Edomite might know is that he knows that the so-called white man ain't right. That he's the devil. He knows that. So uh, I'm going to open up with a scripture, with a couple of scriptures. I'm going to read the book of Ezra, uh, chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. And I've done this before. And, of course, you know, the BOIs and the agents are going to come on. And a lot of those BOIs are agents because they don't want the tribes to come together. All right. That's why all of a sudden you got these Johnny come late that come out of nowhere that are trying to debunk the 12 tribe sign and, you know, and. And they're coming with this uh, black only Israelites and all that kind of madness. The scriptures say otherwise. The scriptures say we got uh, we got scattered among the heathen and mingled ourselves among them. So that means that point blank period, plain as the nose on your face, that Israelites mixed and mingled with the heathens and and looked like the heathens after all this time of being um, among them. All right. That's why the Lord has kind of come gather his children up from among the places where they were scattered. This is uh, Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. Now when these things were done, the princes came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priest and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations. Even the Canaanites who were Hamites, so-called Africans, Hittites, Perizzites, Jebusites, uh, who, are, who are also Africans, Ammonites, who are Japanese, Moabites, who are Chinese, and the Egyptians and the Amorites. For they have taken their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yeah, the hand of the princes and the rulers have been chief in this trespass. So, Jake, our, our, our leaders, our porters, our elders, gatekeepers of the gates, were popping these Moabites, these Ammonites, and these Hamites. And they were making children with them. Hence the reason why so many of the northern kingdom have those features. Uh, why why this, this madness that they call, uh, 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 you know... A mongoloid, the made-up social construct mongoloid. They, and they try to say that, you know, because you got a lot of uh, so-called Latinos and natives that have that look. Well, they mixed and mingled with Ammon and Moab in the ancient world for a very, very long time. By the thousands, if not by the millions. All right? That's history, and that really happened, and we're reading about it. Verse 3. And when I heard this thing, I ripped my garment and my, and my mantle and plucked off my hair off the head of my beard and sat down astonished. And then were assembled unto me everyone that trembled at the words 
of power of, of the power of Israel because of the transgression that those that those have been carried away. I said a study until the evening sacrifice because our people will worship in the way of these. They were having their way with these women, but they started worshiping these women's gods and they started uh, not teaching our children the proper way and letting our children, the, 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 the sons and daughters of these uh, of these unions be brought up in the way of the heathens ways. This is what angered Ezra. All right. Which is why the Lord never wanted us to mingle with them for that reason. All right. That still does not change the fact that any children born of those unions were still Israelites if their father was the Israelite. All right. It does not change that. And some people want to make it change that. And it does not. If your father was an Israelite, if you came from that holy seed, which was Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and then the 12 patriots, if you came from one of those patriots, one of those patriot sons of Jacob. All right. It didn't matter what the what mother was. That child was still an Israelite. And there are too many examples in the Bible to prove it. But that's not I'm not going to go into those. All right. Go back and watch some other videos. And at the evening sacrifice, I rose up from my heaviness and having rent my garment and my mantle. And I fell upon my knees and spread my hands unto you. How are my power? And I said, oh, my power, I am ashamed because it is a shame for us to have done this and to create the confusion of face. It's a shameful thing. It's a shame, shameful thing to look like one of the heathen. All right. And said, O oh, my power, I am ashamed and blush to lift up my face to thee. May, may, may power for our iniquities are my power for our iniquities are increased over our head, and our trespasses is grown up unto the heavens. Since the days of our fathers have we been in great trespass unto this day, and for the iniquity have we our kings and our priests been delivered into the hands of the kings of the lands and to the sword and to captivity and to the spoil and to the confusion of face as it is this day. All right. And that does mean a shame, but it also literally means what it says. The confusion of face, because you have an Israelite who has made a child with an Ammonite, a Moabite, a Perezite. And now that child looks like those people, talks like those people. And that is a shame. Yo, this one motherfuckers, right? <laughs> um, we got a lot of damn um, comments and shit from people, right? Um, you start with like some of the white people, like um, you know the racist ones and shit. You know they had, they thought they had some logic or some reasoning, and you know their little whatever man they want to call it, they're um. The reason, the logic, the the the, the critical uh, the thinking skills, <laughs> critical thinking skills, man. You know they thought they had a little something, right? But um, man, since I dropped that African Dodger and the Mini Dodger, man, and the truth about that goddamn shit, they can't really say. See, he went into the history about the African Dodgers and how these these crackers, what he called them, these peckerwoods, how they grandfathers and grandmothers were lining up to get five cents to throw them balls at the faces of of little black children. And they and and the Edomites get mad because Esau gets mad when you tell the truth on them. Hey, nobody can really say a goddamn thing, man. Uh, they don't have nothing to say. You can't motherfucking defend that with any motherfucking thing, dude. And the funny thing is that now that they can't really defend that, the comments on there is like, um, they mad as a motherfucker, dude. Calling me all kinds of names. You know, you you know, man, like that's when you got the motherfuckers, man, when they really can't come at you with whether you agree or like your perception or how you perceive shit, your your worldview, how you see the world, you know, they, they come in with some type of some type of reasoning, some type of even though I don't I don't agree with it, they at least have something they can try to pull off as motherfucking, you know. But man, when you can't say shit, but start motherfucker. Okay, first of all, I think somebody said um, I'm a convicted pedophile. <laughs> I um a motherfucker said, look, I hope your wife gets gang banged. 
by a bunch of Africans and your son is half Puerto Rican. <laughs> Time out, bro. Look, man. <laughs> hey, let's talk about African Dodge and Mini Dodge. Let's talk about reparations. Let's talk about motherfucking what happened. What the fuck, man? Has my goddamn wife gang banging motherfuckers and my son being Puerto Rican and goddamn me motherfucking pedophile motherfucker? What is really and truly what's that got to do with a goddamn thing that y'all supposed to be talking about and defending or, or motherfucking making me? You know, we're all crazy as hell, right? Let me tell you something, man. To the motherfucker that says somebody convicted pedophile, to the motherfucker that says somebody gang banging. Oh, yeah, and to the motherfucker that said, um, um, Go set yourself on fire, you fucking wigger, I think you got me a wigger or something like that. Uh, listen, man, my name is Chris Wayne Acock, okay? Princeton, North Carolina, Highway 70 East, bruh. Come on down here, man. Bring that shit with you, bruh. Bring it, man. Bring it, man. Bring that shit down here. I'll meet you at the Hardee's. And we cruise on back to the crib, man. And we get it in right goddamn there, dude. You feel me? Man, for real. But y'all ain't gonna do nothing but run your goddamn mouth behind some shit. Because y'all mad. Goddamn, y'all mad. Y'all hate me. Boy, y'all hate me. Y'all scared of me, man. Y'all scared to goddamn death. Because y'all have no defense for nothing. Well, y'all have You know what I'm saying? The African Dodger, me and Dodger, man, cracked you in your goddamn head. You know what I mean? Because I guarantee you, goddamn, man, your ancestors or your family, they were lined up with goddamn nickels in their goddamn hand. Huh? Right. And they never want to say, hey, Robert. But they were lined up to hit that motherfucking African Dodger. I bet you that. Uh, yeah. You ever thought about what the L.A. Dodgers, what they, what they were called? Why would they call a baseball team the Dodgers? You ever put two and two together? You know what one plus one is? It equals two. That that the L.A. Dodgers was named for the sake of the of the so-called African Dodgers, mini Dodgers. Yeah, and all you can do is get mad, man. Y'all mad as a motherfucker. I would. What you need to do is own this goddamn shit. Just own it, bruh. Cause it is, and because it gets worse. I got more, man. There's a lot more coming, dude. It is way. And I hope he keep dropping them them little uh, historical nuggets, cause you know there's a lot of stuff Esau did. That they kept to themselves. They only talk about among themselves, man. And this dude right here. Why? Because he ain't one of them. That's why he has a spirit on there. He ain't with that shit. Alright? That's in his spirit. Because he's one of those scattered confusion of face. Like it or not. Alright? Like it or not. Hey, fucking worse than that, dude. Way worse, man. And, um, you know, come, come to Princeton, North Carolina, man. Come tell you something. Hey, there was some comments when dude was like, um, like, I believe in reincarnation also. I think he was talking reincarnation. Man, <laughs> don't know either might believe in reincarnation. Hey, look, this is, uh, Tobit, the 13th chapter, verse 2. For he doth scourge and have mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. All right. That also proves that there's no such thing as hell when you go and stay for eternity. Hell is a condition. That's why you can go to it and then come out of it and go to it again. All right. Verse three. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. For he has scattered us among them. The Israelites are scattered to the four corners of the earth. Among all nations and among all people and among all nations and all people you will find them. This is not a black or white thing. That is a socially made up construct created by Esau Edom. All right. The red Hebrew Edomite. Who is the, who is uh, the so-called white man or Caucasian today? All right. Which the Bible has identified Esau Edom as the wicked, the sons of perdition who ought to be destroyed. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Abishai, by Hashem Korkakwadash, and Wah Ababababal.